This is Kira's Dress Part 2, and if you've made it this far, I give you my congratulations! So, let's get on to the accessories! So, here we have the dress, and we are going to measure the waistband to make the belt. So, we're going to start from one side, and just measure all the way around. Okay, I'm at the end here and it is 23 inches, so I am going to add 2 inches for seam allowance and whatever else I screw up. Okay, so I am using a stretch taffeta for the belt, and if you're not using a stretch fabric, then you are probably going to use the whole extra 2 inches. So here I have it um, folded up and we are going to measure it. I want the belt to be an inch and a half thick. So we are going to measure an inch and a half and then I'm going to add a seam allowance for both sides which is a fourth of an inch for me so in total it's going to be two inches and so we're going to just measure it out and then cut. Okay, now we are going to measure it the lengthwise, and we are going to measure, well, for me, it would be the 25 inches, and we are just going to cut it. Okay, so now we are going to sew up the sides. Okay, as you can see here, I have the sides fully sewn up, even uh, the frays and whatnot, I did a finishing stitch. Um, yeah, my machine was just bugging out on this part, I don't know how or why, I just, I don't know, I tried to fix it so many times. Anyway, so we are going to turn it and turn it inside out. Um, I'm using this fast turner. Uh, I got it for like three bucks at the fabric store, so yeah. So uh, you just slide it in and uh, push it all down like so. And then when you get to the top here, you just hook the little hook onto the corner. And, uh, and you just pull it inside out. Okay, so now we are going to iron it. Okay, now that it's ironed, we are going to do a finishing stitch on uh, either the ends here. Uh, whatever your machine does, or you could just cut it, don't matter. Okay, so um, we're going to thread a needle and uh, Tie off the bottom here into a knot, and there's my knot, and we are going to take it and we are going to sew it onto the right back side here of the dress and uh, we're just going to line it up with the middle of the waist here and we are going to start from the inside and just sew it. Day, 
Okay, as you can see here, I have fully tacked it on. And now um, we are going to take it and we are going to wrap it around to the front. And we are going to, um, I guess what they call it, blind stitching it. So that you don't see the stitch. So we're going to get like a little piece of the front here. And pull the thread through and then we are going to tack it to the belt. We'll just take a little bit of the belt from the back here and we're just gonna pull it through again and I will show you guys one more just in case you couldn't see. We're just gonna take a little bit of the front. I'm not even putting that much on my needle. It's like a few threads and then a little bit of the belt. And we're just going to pull it through. And you are just going to do that all the way around the belt. Okay, so as you can see here, I have it fully sewn on, hand stitched, and uh, there you go. I have it stitched on. Okay, so we're going to turn to the back here and obviously you can see we have a little excess and um, you can either turn the little end here in and um, tack it on like this. Or you could do what I'm gonna do, and I'm just gonna cut it off short a little bit here, finish it off, and then I'm just gonna tack it in on the other side like that. Okay, so now we are gonna make the star for Kira's dress. Here, I just have like a three inch star printed out. I will provide an image down below. So now I'm going to add a seam allowance all around the star. I'm going to add about a fourth of an inch, but obviously you can add as much as you need. Okay, so I've added the seam allowance all the way around the star, and now we're just going to cut it out. Okay, so as you can see here, I have it fully cut out. So now we are going to take it and we're going to cut it out with the fabric and a liner. And voila, here I have it cut out. Um, now we are going to take it and um, I'm going to take my main fabric here and I'm going to flip it over and uh, line it up with the uh, lining fabric here and just sew it all the way around except one leg of the star we are gonna leave that open okay as you can see here I have it fully sewn all the way around except this one leg right here and now we are just gonna cut off the pointy ends here so it's easier for us to turn it inside out Okay, now I have all the points um, cut it, so now we're going to cut the middle here slit, but we're not going to cut it all the way, we're just going to cut it about halfway, so we can turn it inside out more easily too, so we'll just do that all the way around. Okay, now that I have it all cut, um, now we're going to just turn it inside out, like this. Here's a camera, stepping lightly, there's a camera, not politely, do everything you do with pride, glide, to be a princess is to all. 
Okay, so I want my points to start really pointy, so I'm just gonna use my seam ripper here and just um, pull the points out so they're a little pointier. Look at her. Okay, as you can see here, I have it fully turned inside out and the points getting pretty pointy. So now we're just going to take this little end here and just tuck it in. So it doesn't look so gross and so all the points look about the same. And we are just going to sew it shut afterwards. I wish I had her. Look at her in the throne room. Okay, so now we're gonna take our star here and we are going to take the side that we sewed and point it down and we are going to tack it onto the dress now on the belt and we are gonna tack it somewhere around the right side here. And there you go, just tack it on. Okay, as you can see here, I have sewn on the star. It's on uh, pretty good. It won't be going anywhere anytime soon. And I've tacked it on a little bit to the dress, so the belt won't move either. So yeah. Uh, and now I'm taking Velcro here. It's Fabric Fusion. It's like an iron-on Velcro. Um, yeah, it's iron-on, 90 seconds. Um, but it's sticky on the back and that's the reason why I use it. It's just easy to put in place and like it just won't move when you sew it on. Yes, I'm gonna sew on and iron on. Okay, so we're gonna take our Velcro here out of the packaging and uh, there's a fuzzy side. It's really soft and fuzzy and then there is a side with teeth and that's like the rougher side so we are going to take it and I'm going to cut it off about half an inch to an inch and it just all depends how big you want the velcro square to be or need it to be so I'm just going to cut it Okay, so as you can see here, I have the teeth and the fuzzy side cut out. Um, and so we are going to take the side with the teeth now. That's the rough side. And we are going to take it and we are going to tack it on the back here. Um, we are going to tack it on the right side. The outer right side here. Um, we're going to tack it on the upper corner here and on the belt. Okay, so as you can see here, I have the rough side tacked on to the belt and the upper corner. So now we are going to take the fuzzy side, the soft fuzzy side, yep, and we are going to tack it on to the inner left side of the dress. We're going to tack it on the corner and where the belt is. Okay, so here you see I have it fully tacked on. And this is the finished product when you close the Velcro shut. And there you go. Here's your complete dress for Kira.